Yo, 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 what's up, beautiful soul? So, I basically wanted to come to you guys with, there's the murder case that happened at a high school. One murdered, one injured. Young man went in there with a gun, shooting. Um, targeted these two who are seniors on the basketball team. And um, first I'm gonna show you guys the footage and then we could get into it, okay? Humboldt, Tennessee. Tuesday night at the high school basketball game. My mom was there and uh, during the midst of the commotion, I was on the phone with her. Rajness Perry's cousin was also playing in the basketball game for Humboldt. Perry says the shooting happened near the concession stand in the lobby of the gym. The one who actually died, I'm not related to him, but his brother is my cousin. And he was there when it happened. Police say 21-year-old Justin Kavon Panky of Humboldt was killed in the shooting. 18-year-old Xavier Clifton was transported by helicopter to the Regional One Medical Center in Memphis. And a third victim, Dontavious Cross, was taken by private vehicle to a Jackson hospital where he was treated and released. Police have not said what the shooting was about. Neighbors who live right across the street from the high school are wondering how a gun got on campus. Penny King didn't hear the commotion last night, but is disturbed by what happened. I'm a loss for words. It don't shouldn't ha it shouldn't happen anywhere, but it don't happen in Humboldt. I I'm really, really sad for our community right now. Baby, I'm sorry. Humanity need to get it together. Not just Humboldt. <laughs> okay, but uh, the facts are that Kentucky and Tennessee are really having a lot of. Um, imbalance of energy, so there's a lot of the beast is on this. <laughs> the beast is busy, okay, out there. So, of course, you guys know my job is to slaughter the beast and dysfunction and anything dealing with um, anything feeding the beast or anything negative, right? So, as I use my abilities to tap into the energy of this case, um, spirit told me this had to do with bullying and hazing and. Um, kids learning narcissism in high school, okay, with these children are learning to be narcissists, and they're learning from their parents, so they're taking us to, to school and being bullies, okay, unacceptable, okay, so now you have um, two children, one only died, one is living, Okay, and it's unfortunate. As they said, the spirit said something about a female. So I don't know if there was a, there had to be a female involved in there somewhere. Okay, um, but, but of course the school isn't gonna let, it's gonna let that be known because the more kids that are involved, the worse the rep of the school. So I doubt that information even if it is even going to come out, right? Okay, so. So now we're going to get to the root, to the soul root of this problem, narcissism. Narcissists raising their kids to be narcissists. And these kids aren't smart enough to realize that narcissism is not what is popping. Unity and love and respect of somebody else's differences is what's important. Okay, and it starts at home. Okay. Um, everyone is different. Everybody isn't athletic. Everybody isn't the best vocalist. Everybody isn't the best swimmer. Everybody isn't, some people good at art. Some people good at ROTC. Some people good at Spanish. Some people good at, you. it is not nobody's place to, like the humanity has made it a priority to have this totem of what is prestigious and what is not. And what is the best job or what is the best sport to play or what what makes you popular or and, it, and it's trickling down to the kids that's where it has got to stop it's a shame that a kid from high school felt he needed to go get a weapon and shoot two seniors on the basketball team If you don't believe revelation is in effect, you better believe it now. But we only got ourselves to blame, right? 
okay? You know, um, everybody ain't going out there getting a gun. But you best believe at this moment, where everybody going to feel like they need to go get some type of whatever. Anyway, I don't even get into it. Shit is calling crazy neurological effects. That's why everybody's losing their mind. Okay? And if you cannot handle neurological issues like bipolar and mental illness, you need to pray and meditate on these things and fix those so that you're not transferring these bad mental illnesses to your children. And they're taking it into the schools and they're taking people, kids' lives. Mental illness is real. We need to spread awareness on the mental illness of adults and the mental illness of, excuse me, of children. This is unacceptable. Hurt people hurt people, then hurt people having children, and then they hurt, and then they having children, then they hurt. The cycle got to stop. And if you're gonna raise your kids, raise them to be to heal, to heal them, so, so they could put out love and light in society and not your pain. How about you heal heal your pain before you go having children? So your 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 kids aren't carrying your karma. You know, it starts at home. Okay? You don't have to know them to love them. You don't have to know them to wish them well. You know what I'm saying? Love, love, love is the only thing that combats evil. Okay? Namaste. I love you.